such an honor. For us older guys, we're yeah. very proud of you, ah, because during our time, <laughs> all boys Thank kami. You. <laughs> all boys kami. Yeah. And it took a while before the Ateneo, uh, kasi it's a long tradition of uh, ano, panay all boys. Mm -hmm. So it took time. Yung mga first yeah. uh, cheer dance competition, all boys ang lumalaban sa Ateneo. And they were doing the halftime routines. Yung mga usual halftime routines lang. And there was a time na, siguro I think late 90s, na nagkaroon ng problem ang blue bubble until eventually they, they accepted the female cheerleaders. Yeah. And tayo yung pinakahuli, pero tayo yung una nag-introduce in the UAAP. Ha? Trivia yan, ha? Trivia. In the Ateneo La Salle in 1986, we had female cheerleaders. Although we did not sustain that, meron kasing gumaya na naman eh. <coughs> Although we did not sustain that, uh, we were the first to introduce female cheerleaders sa UAAP. For me, imagine you for months, for one performance, sobrang unfair, not like other sports na dalawa rounds nala, like two rounds yeah. na pwede makabaw and stuff. Pero like for us, six minutes, once na magkamali, um, people will remember you na sweet agad yeah, and post sure. agad. As in, meme Sapayo. agad. As in, <laughs> for, for us, ang sad na we've been practicing for months and then it may make it look easy, pero it's really hard that people think na cheering is easy. Na mga bakit sports yung cheering, pero di nila alam sa everyday kami nagtitrain and dami namin sinasacrifice. Literally, you can die with cheering as kung hindi ka na-catch. Yeah, yeah. Pwede yeah. kang mahulugan and stuff. Great opportunity and I'm really thankful and I'm really happy with Babo kasi every year, I'm so proud of this team na parang every year nag -e evolve kasi nag -e improve yeah. kami. It doesn't matter kung anong place kami or anong score yung nakuha namin kasi we perform naman with our heart and we enjoy naman with our routine and we're happy na may nag-support sa amin, we have a support system and we perform our routine with our family. As in, parang second family and teammates and we're there because of our passion and with our heart. Yeah, can you talk about nga, the cheer dance and the culture of cheer? Because I feeling ko, the people that po you said nga, they post memes and laugh when they make mistakes. But oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen like the culture of cheer, even though if you're competing against one another, you opposing schools don't want to see anyone make a mistake or get hurt. Yeah. So can yeah. you share the experience? I that's what I love about cheering to the community, not just even the ones that are cheerleaders. I feel like even the ones that are fans of cheering, they're very supportive of all of the teams. And honestly, if you ask us, like, if we're, if we have, if, you know, we're against the style, I mean, you know, it's yeah. just like a facade. But yeah. honestly, we have, we have friends in all schools, because especially if you cheer in high school and then they go to different schools. It's super fun to support other teams as well, because honestly, oh, we all do the same thing and we all know what we're going through. It's, it's, all, it's all hard. So the fact that we all just, get to represent our schools and be part of a community that accepts and understands everything that we're going through. It's it's really it's really nice. That's what I like about cheer, super accepting, understanding and supportive. Like we're not just cheerleaders to other sports. We also cheer each other on not just the ones in our team but also like in other teams. And stuff. So, yeah. Team sport talaga. And especially when we practice on like in basketball and football and the the in them because like the people on the court, it's just a few, right? And then if one's injured, you can you can get another one. But in our team, if you're absent, injured, sick, we can't do, like, for example, one person in the pyramid is sick or injured. We can't do one side. Or not and synchronized. That yeah, it's not going to be synchronized. And we won't get to practice together. Because so, that's the thing. Eh? Parang it's so hard in cheer because we only perform once. Yeah. And it's also just six minutes. So... We really need to do it again and again because you need to practice not just getting used to what you're doing, but also knowing what happens. Like in cheer, you need to know plan A, B, C to D to Z. Mm -hmm. Like you think yeah. fast, talaga. Eh. And you know, you can't just think fast by yourself. You also have to think about okay, what's she gonna do? Should I catch her and stuff like that? So you need to have chemistry, teamwork, trust. Ako, I don't think I would have been the person I was today if I didn't go to cheer. Especially in college. I'm glad I went to Babo because it was talaga experience, ba? Honestly, during this pandemic, hindi na ako sa na ino lang ginagawa. Kasi our schedule yeah. usually is classes, then training, or like wait up great classes, then training. As in whole day productive ka and busy. So this pandemic, yeah. I realized na parang 
hindi ako sanay na slack off lang or like bomb around. As after college, feeling ko, cheering talaga, sobrang big impact yun. As in, with discipline, with with everything, yeah, time management true. and everything. So, yeah, that's it. Ikaw, Gian, can you talk about, wala kayong off-season eh. Kasi nga, the whole year, competing nga, has that one day. But they're not just training for that one day. The whole year, they're supporting, they're cheering na rin. So what's it like now we have to deal with that whole year schedule? I guess it goes back when we accept people into the band. It's not only about ability, but it's about trust as well. It's about trusting your teammates, being able to trust people from the start. Like you said, it's it's a whole year, well, like going to games, it's a whole year thing. And it's a grind. It's really a grind. Now, when the going gets tough, all you have to rely on are your teammates. Because like in basketball, you can go, like if you go to the bench, you can rest. Two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Yeah. But in, in the band, you don't stop. You don't, I mean, you, you, you play the drums even during non-stop. time. Non-stop. Like yeah. yeah, non-stop. Especially, you know, game three versus La Salle. Looking back, that was one of the hardest games that I'd gone through. We didn't take a break. No timeouts. Our mentality back then was to kill our opponent, to kill the Animal Squad. To remove them. <laughs> as in, like, our goal isn't to help our team win only. But as well to demolish the opposition, like there isn't. Well, I find you're you're up against the wall. It's a do or die game. Back in the day, if you remember, like the dark days of this decade, ng di na Like the blame goes around, the blame goes everywhere. But um, we 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 developed the same in the band. Na, uh, when all else fails, the band doesn't. Parang it it goes along really with the trust that we have with each other. Na parang kahit tambak na kahit tambak na by twenty, kahit up by twenty. Consistency is key. Like the the will, the killer instinct to do better than your opposition. Uh, it's something that we always carry. And you know, besides that as well, we we're also performers. So, uh, so you know, we have games year round. We have first sem, like second sem, for example, in February, we have a we have a full schedule of about 50 games. We don't get to go to all of them, but yun talaga yung schedule. So we have to work around. We have to manage. Then we also have drumline performances. So we perform. Like lately, we've been, we've been performing at the finals in half time the drum line. We, we train for that every day for about two months, two to three months. And then during the off season, besides. Um, Ganda rin yun, yung mga drum line yun. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been blessed to perform um, our drum line in the finals for all of my years. So very blessed to be able to do that. Sir Mel, I want to ask you about the term animo used by Lasal. But... That was actually originally used by us, Ateneo. Uh, and, well, yung, yung Animo, during the time that uh, we were running for the first championship, we were already using that also. Nagkataon lang, tumatak kasing one big fight sa atin eh. Di ba? So one big fight. Okay. In the 50s, uh, Ateneo was already using Animo. If you look back at the history of Lasali, I, I hope I'm not mistaken. Ano? Uh, they were not really using that animo. It was mostly San Beda. Mm-hmm. And yeah. siguro, dahil wala masyadong yeah. gumagamit, at saka wala namang may, alam mo na, wala namang may, may identified with the animo, uh, they used that. And uh, during the time that nagkaroon sila ng uh, cheerers, yung mga cheerers, <laughs> so, so we had cheerleaders, they had cheerers. Just to add yun sa sinasabi ni uh, Gian, one of the things na inaantay ng mga people then were the halftime shows ng Ateneo. And lalo na pag Ateneo, Lasal. We had uh, a grade 4 kid cheer with the Blue Bubble. It was the first time na nagkaroon naman ng grade schooler na cheer with the Blue Bubble. He did all the routines. Tapos, before the routine ended, May tinaas siyang araw. May hawak-hawak siyang araw. Tapos binali niya sa harap ng nasa. Oh, grade 4 student. Oh yeah, so you can just imagine. Ha? You can just imagine huh? yung reaction. Oh! I didn't even know he could do that. And they also had their own. Ganun din. Buti na lang. Nung they had their own. Kumakain na kami. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nyo na nyo nakita. <laughs> Oy, bahala na sila doon. Sila na masaya doon. <laughs> Paano pa pag sa game and you're down and supporting a not-so-winning team, how do you get the crowd motivated? Or like, feeling ko kasi, kanwari basketball, they're down. Spoiled na yun eh, manalo. So they don't cheer when they're down. So how do you guys keep it? Yeah, so hard. Well, because honestly, Ella Bell and I, 
we got to go to a few games then a month. Even if we are part of Compet, they allow us someone to go to some games as long as it doesn't affect training. Um, and I experienced that na. I think, yeah, because I think I attended the game where then didn't win. And for cheer dancers, because we had to stay sa aisle. So you see the people talaga cheering. It's so hard to get that in a crowd to cheer. I feel like we're the most difficult crowd. Yeah, we're the most difficult crowd to get to cheer. Compared to the other schools like USP, La Salle, parang boom, they're all gonna cheer. But it's so hard talaga, yeah. And pinagalitan na ako once by an alo- I mean, not me, but parang my side, parang may nagalit na alumni or may nag-comment na alumni. That time na when we were losing, they're really just sitting down. <laughs> So, parang the more, so and then we're not looking pa behind because it's a rule you have to just we, we can only look at the captains Sign, guiding us si- doing yeah calling doing the calls for us so that we know what to cheer and we can only look at the crowd to make them cheer. It was so hard. Like I honest, I kind of wanted to cry already. <laughs> so I just wanted to sit down, or I saw it, you know. I was, I mean, the fact then, because na you're given the responsibility to make them cheer, but you're also sad that you're losing, so you also don't want to cheer. You just want to sit down, na. So it's so it's so hard to, because you have to be the first person to be like, no, we have to cheer, you know. Initially, you're gonna be like, oh no, they're they're not gonna they're not gonna do it. I don't want to do it, but then. You know, there's also that part of you that goes, wait, you can't give up. Because I get scared too. Like when I get tired, na, if I give up, they're gonna fail. Even if I'm not even part of the basketball yeah. team. I don't know. That's just me. That makes me want to cheer more than kasi. And to encourage the other people to cheer. And, you know, the people that we're with, especially, they're so passionate about it. Sometimes they make speeches and stuff. Ako, I'm too shy, but... You know, good thing we have those type of people talaga in Babel. Because without those correct, type of people correct. making the speeches, I feel like no one would cheer talaga. So I super appreciate when I see those people do that. Ang hirap pa, pa, pa cheer ang mga alumni mm-hmm. kasi they're there to watch. Okay? Yeah. And they're there only to cheer pagka na lumalabang. Yeah. But <laughs> syempre, most of the students, lalo na pag nasa upper or nasa ano, the students cheer. Oh, Pero definitely. yung alumni... Yeah. Which so occupies cheap. mostly three fourths of the, siguro three fourths ng, ng crowd natin <laughs> alumni. And you just have to lead them. Uh, same then during my time, ganun din. Uh, dahil nagsisimula lang ng blue bubble noon. You had to do gimmicks during the time na magtutugtog sa amin yung saxophone, yung Miss X ba yun? Sabay-sabay ang palakpakan. Sabay-sabay din ang tingin sa akin noon kasi ako yung sumasayo noon eh. <laughs> <Ta-na-na-na-na-na>. <laughs> diba? Tapos nakausleep pa yung puwet, di ba? So I was the butt of all jokes. <laughs> Yun ang uh, ginagawa namin. So when you when the crowd becomes lively, it's easier for them to to cheer as yeah. you ask them cheer. Parang ganon. And I'm so happy that through the years, I've seen also a lot of peer leaders do that. Siyempre nakakatawa kasi ginagawa mo nung araw. <laughs> Ang difference lang, mas gwapo ako noon, di ba? <laughs> Parang duda yata kayo. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, foggy ka. Ah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> What was Babel able to give you guys that you wouldn't have experienced elsewhere? Something unique to Babel. I feel like um, being open to meeting other people. In high school, kasi ebe, you all have the same schedule. And in college, you really deal with a lot of different people. People you, you don't really vibe with, people you vibe with, you know. But in cheering, that our rule especially, which I think it helps that you can take on in life then is when it's on the mats it's on the mats only it's business on the mats and everything else is nothing you know if you have a problem with the teammate if you're on the mats you can't deal with that you say what if naging partners kayo in a stunt alam naman sasabihin mo kay coach na coach we're like fighting i don't want to be with it parang and then it's just gonna waste so much time diba so yeah, yun, dealing with a lot of people, easy and difficult people, I feel like that's what Babel taught me. And I feel like it relates not just in our unit, but also in games, yun, dealing with people that don't want to cheer. It really helps. Babel really teaches you how to persevere and be very determined to get what you want. We have to, you know, work hard for what we want. And I feel like that's what Babel taught me. Ako yung type na pag hindi sila nag-cheer, sumising ko ako. As in, honestly, dun, d- dahil sa mga games, dun na wala yung hiya ako na para go guys, kaya, as in, try, um, leading yung kalaban. Go guys, kaya yan, babawi tayo. Tapos, 
honestly thankful you na may bu- may mga sumasagot sa akin as in pag sinabi ko go yeah, when they're nice yeah Bubble taught me time management, build relationship yeah. with people. So, alam mo kung yung priorities mo, alam mo kung training, training, on the mat, mm-hmm. remove, at sa nga, um, sad ka, stress ka, pero pag nasa mat ka, tanggal lahat ng problem mo and stress yeah. or whatever, as in focus lang sa mat. Hindi ako ganito kung wala yung bubble. Why are you crying? <laughs> Pansin ko nga, pansin ko. Parang you're different now. <laughs> For me, parang same. The, the base is really the same as sila Ella, Bell, and Fran. Kasi in Bubble, really, tra- trabaho muna. And yun, when it comes yeah, to true. when it comes to games, parang we take on this different mindset na yung maglalokohan tayo, kakain tayo, whatever. Saka na, after the game na. Parang ito, sa game tayo, focus muna. Sobrang important talaga yung the trust factor within our team. Kasi you can't work well with the people that you don't trust. The people you don't get along well with. What I learned like throughout my four years really to so take work first. Like, trabaho muna. But at the same time, Babel taught me to be a leader. It taught me to take the initiative during hard situations. In the band, like you get thrown into different situations. Like thrown up against uncooperative officials. Guards na hindi kayo kilala. There was one time na, like, pre-game, it was 6 in the morning. Papasok ako ng MOA Arena. The game pa namin at 10. But we were really early. Naka-slippers lang ako. Ayaw ako papasukin kahit may dalawang drum. As in, you have to deal with those things. You're tired, you're sleepy. You have to think of your actions as well. You gotta you gotta handle yourself well in pressure situations. Our experiences are all the same. Just to add, you know, one thing that uh, I remember talaga na kakaiba during our time was uh, dealing with the uh, other egos. Okay? We we used to refer <laughs> we, we used to refer to the bubble as the elite blue bubble but kasi yung iba the elite red. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh Say, example na lang. Practice kami, ano? During our time, we were only 15. So, kung bababa oh, kami, may dalawa lang na may iwan sa taas. So, 13 kami bababa. Actually, dapat nga, ano, eh, 13 eh. Yung isa asungot, yung isa assistant to the asungot. Kasi, <laughs> napoliti ka lang eh. Okay, sinama, ganyan. Sige na nga, sama ka na. <laughs> okay. So, pag nagpa-practice kami, di, kunwari gagawin yung set, kung papaano yung set, ano? Sasabihin ng isa, sino itong nasa gitna? Ako! Ba't ikaw? Di ba dapat ako? So, kanya-kanyang bidahan na yun. <laughs> di ba? So, kumisan yung practice namin, madidelay dahil kung sino yung dapat nandito dito, sino yung dapat nandiyan dyan. Kaya ang ending, so, mas matagal pa kami magplano kaysa magpractice. <laughs> Kaya enjoy, enjoy na enjoy kami. Masaya, mahirap, pero syempre, ang, ang one thing that uh, last is the friendship and camaraderie na until now uh, nakikita mo. Yeah, kayo, siguro after 20, 30 years, kayo, you'll be seeing your, your bubble friends. Enjoy na enjoy kayo manood. And, and, and me now, the reason why I want to go to the games to watch live is to see friends, to see people who were there years ago. Secondary na lang yung game. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi alam mo naman mananalo eh. Up. Oh. <laughs> 16-0 eh. Okay, 1, 2, 3.